Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more Caster Muse and Rocks Star League. Right now we're in the round of 32, Group A, and this is game number two. We have in the top right here, Nansu, who again, I don't really know anything about. He, he might actually be the least known player in this in this tournament, so I'm, I my mind's open. I don't know what we're going to see. And his opponent is going to be Yoon, who I know <laughs> quite well. Yoon is a very strong up-and-coming Zerg player. Uh, he is... Like, one of those players that will probably, in the next couple of years, be a complete mainstay in uh, ASL. Very well-known, plays with all the pros, uh, and yeah, very, very strong. Uh, definitely think that he is advantaged here quite a bit on Butter. We'll see how this game goes. Thank you guys uh, for watching Artosis Cast. I appreciate it. Been getting a lot of nice words uh, down on my stream, people popping by and... Uh, saying that they like the channel. So thank you guys so, so much. Uh, if you do want to stop by, it's over at twitch.tv forward slash artosis. Uh, and yeah, I stream there five days a week. So check it out from like, uh, <laughs> what, 7 p.m. EST to, to midnight or so. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, thank you for that. Now, it looks like we have a nine pool coming out of Yoon here. Very quick scout from Nansu. So he's going to be able to see the timing of this, and he's going to have to throw a forge down because that pool is quite quick. Uh, it looks like he wants to do, like, maybe a Nexus first, but you see the probe immediately gets pulled. So he should be able to get the forge down and, and build some cannons. He might have to pull, like, a couple probes. I don't know the exact, exact timing of that. Uh, but, yeah, I believe, I believe he will need to maybe do something like... Put a gateway up and then put a couple probes there. Something like that. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> now. Uh, actually, one fun thing is... This is Butter 2. On Butter 1, uh, you could actually go Nexus first and do a full wall that was completely tight. Uh, and Nine Pool literally wouldn't stop it. So the Zerg players complained a whole bunch and they made Butter 2, which just has like an adjustment to the choke. Notice this here. This makes it so that you have to block with units as well. You can't just use buildings. So definitely changes uh, the power <laughs> of PVZ on the map. So you have the double cannon coming up right now. Uh, the Ling's going across. Uh, he pro Like I mentioned, he probably does have to bring something down here to block. These are just barely not going to finish by the time the Ling's get there. Uh, here comes the probe, but I feel like there should be two probes. Like you throw a gate down and like put a couple probes like right there, I believe it is. Oh, wait a second. Uh, <laughs> well, he does—he doesn't block. Like, uh, you need to know these timings. Um, you—you <laughs> you really do. You really do. That's it. Like, he gets the nexus quickly. I guess if you kill these probes without really losing more than like one, uh, like uh, kill these things without losing more than like one probe, maybe you're okay. Okay, so he's lost one probe, two probe, three probe. Oh God, that's like four probes. Okay, GG. What? Okay, well, I mean, that was... I guess we see why Nansu is not is not well known. Um, that is one of the quickest <laughs> pro games I have ever seen. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a mistake that needs to be remedied. You need to you need to kind of fix that. Okay, so since this was so fast, I'm gonna go ahead and regale you guys with a little story of the actual fastest game ever played in a professional setting. Uh, so, I, I, as far as I know, this is the fastest. So, once upon a time, back, I believe it was 2007-ish, uh, there was a BlizzCon Invitational Tournament, and it was mostly Koreans, but they invited Testy and Skew. Uh, Skew, a good friend of mine, uh, he was the co-leader of media with me back in Brood War. And, uh, Skew just tried to, like, proxy racks in his game. So it, first off, it was cool that he was invited because it meant Blizzard was paying attention to the foreigner community because Skew was really, really, really good at the time. Uh, so it was cool that he got to go play BlizzCon, but then he goes there, he proxy raxes like all of his games. They get scouted immediately and he just GG's. And he had a game, if I'm not mistaken, it was two minutes and 11 seconds long. So he goes to BlizzCon and he plays for less than 10 minutes total. And uh, I remember the, the top foreigner players, we all teased him after that. And we we called that, uh, uh, that was like a period of time, a skew. <laughs> Two minutes and 11 seconds by measurement. So that was, <laughs> it was like such a, it, you know, obviously he was a strong player who deserved to be able to be there. But 
uh, it was funny because the games were so terrible and no good representation. But anyways, sorry the game was so fast, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>